Well, farmers need more nutrients for good yields. WCIA 3's Ag reporter Stu Ellis has more in this morning's report from the farm. I doubt that it takes 20 teams of mules to haul it out of the Utah mountains anymore, but boron is something that's becoming popular yield booster for corn, according to agronomist Craig Blumker of Illini FS. And it's a fairly low cost input, and the results we've seen over the last two to three years have been very promising, very consistent, and uh, offers that, that profitability that we're all looking for. I'd be looking at probably a pre-plant application most often, but we are testing, you know, pre-plant and, and post for that matter, or maybe a combination of two. Um, that'll be things that we're looking at in 2021 is uh, maybe a systems approach to boron. And what is a systems approach? So when I, when I think of systems approach, I would say uh, maybe a sequence of applications, maybe different products, uh, utilizing different products to to get those applications put out there. So maybe like a pre-plant liquid and then coming back with a post, like a dry a dry application, or maybe a combination of, of two different liquid applications. And there are options for testing it out first. On our on-farm discovery trials that we've been doing, we can either do a replicated strip trial, or a lot of times you'll find me splitting fields in, in a block trial, and just comparing a treated versus an untreated. What's been the farmer reaction? A lot of the customers are very receptive. They're, they're wanting guidance or they have questions that they, they specifically want in, they, you know, they're interested in getting answered. And so we try to come up with trial designs and, and products to meet those needs and been very receptive. A lot of guys have, uh, a lot of growers have changed their practices on their farm to adapt as um, products or, or practices that we're testing and uh, seeing very good return for that. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.